Hello, welcome to the Sea Witch. The Sea Witch is back in Vancouver after cruising the South Pacific for a few years. And there is the right time now for some upgrades. I just purchased a Victron Quattro 2 12 volt 3000 amp hours slash 120. So it supposedly is the new version of Quattro. I searched around, there were not many reviews, so I thought I'm gonna make a unpacking video. Okay, so this video is not being sponsored by Victron or any other manufacturer. It's my personal inverter that I just purchased and I figured we should have some more online presence for that new product. So there it is, the package is on the table. I apologize the, for little mess in my boat, but uh, we are in the process of doing some upgrades. So it's going to be like this for a couple of weeks until it gets cleaned up again. So the Quattro 2 came in the regular blue box. So the product, here it is, it's quite heavy. Uh, I found the indication in the package that's between 21 and 25 kilos, which is uh, 55 to 60 pounds, something like that. Uh, otherwise, it's the regular Victron blue box. Uh, seems like it's well packed. There is a little rip on the other side. Uh, right here, we get a little rip. Uh, I guess that happened during transportation, but rather than that, uh, it held okay. So here are some tools which will help me open the package. In order to open the package, we have to split the tape on the top and fit it in here. And there are two big staples here on both ends, which are holding the lid together. So we have to use pliers and attempt to remove that. So there is one staple out and we're gonna go hunt the next one down. And that's the second. So let's put the tools aside now and open the package. So, seems like it held pretty good. There is some, some foam that's keeping the inverter from going around. Uh, ants are also well packed. And let's take the camera now and show you the package from upstairs, from higher up. So there it is, seems like everything held together and the next step will be to pull the inverter out of the box completely. So after the camera is being positioned now, I will attempt, attempt to, oh before that, here is what we found, we find a package with metal plate. I believe this metal plate is uh, for being attached to the wall and the inverter just hooks on the metal plate. And let's see what else is in there. So we have the metal plate, beautiful, powder coated. It appears heavy, so I would say it's not aluminum. I would say it's steel plate. Then what else do we find? We find mounting screws, also some quick instructions and the manual in English. I believe that's all in this package, but I will check it out. So the manual, the quick instructions guide, like IKEA type, although there's some words in it, so it's not completely IKEA type. And what else is in here? Oh, we find some warning labels, stickers actually, that uh, one probably should stick 
on the box during the installation. Then we have advertising for other Victron products. I presume that work together with uh, the Quattro 2, but we'll look at that later. And then the mounting screws. More in the package, we find the temperature sensor. The temperature sensor is okay for people with uh, lead acid batteries or AGM batteries or any other type of chemist require temperature compensation during charging. Lithium batteries are little different. They don't require to change the charging voltage depending on the temperature up to certain range. Uh, and then the BMS takes care of stop charging and uh, uh, if the temperature range of charge is exceeded. So let me try to pull out this inverter. I know it's quite heavy and ah, okay. So there it is. Oh my God. Okay. So this is the inverter. And let's remove that. We'll place the inverter here. Try to unravel it. Remove the packaging and put it back in the box. Okay, so definitely looks good, looks excellent, uh, excellent finish. Uh, on the back, on the back, we can find the bracket where this gets hooked up to the wall. So I guess we install this to the wall and the inverter gets hooked up like this. Somehow it should be secured, but uh, to the wall as well after once it's hooked up, but I haven't got to that point yet. We'll figure it out later on because it cannot be just hanging in a, in a boat. This has to be secured to the bulkhead as well. Okay, so move that here and see what's inside. In order to open it and see how the connections are, I'm going to need a Phillips, Phillips screwdriver. Okay, let's get a Phillips screwdriver and start this assembly. Okay, I just got a Phillips screwdriver and I presume that that lid has to come off. So we will undo this Phillips screw and this Phillips screw. And then the lid comes out. Okay, we find some diagram on the lid and the indication of on off for the power switch, which is located right here. Okay, I can't do that uh, just half open review. So I figure we'll continue to see what they've done inside. So we'll remove all of the screws for the top, uh, top lid and see what are they hiding in Quattro 2? Okay, one side is done. So I'm moving to the other side. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. It was a little tight for my little screwdriver. But it's the right blade fitment. So it worked just fine so opening it up in here and we are almost done one more screw left to show us under the skirt of the new Victron 
quattro tu inverter okay oh two hidden screws right here which i didn't notice okay so we'll take those off one and two okay so we have all the screws now they're all the same size which is expected and we'll put them away so we don't lose them put them away and then lift the skirt okay so we have a ribbon cable attached we have we have a ribbon cable attached to the front control panel and it's on touch on the board right here with that quick connect so we pop it open and this is free to go so what do we have inside so first we have the relay board inside i think this is the board that switches between line one line two uh, in those the ac magic here on this side we have the mosfets and we have yeah, line of MOSFETs everywhere. On this side, we have toroidal transformer. And I believe those will be some noise rejecting coils in there. This is the control board. There is another board, daughter board, and the main board, which is on the bottom. I'm not sure what this is for. There are some current transformers down there that will measure the current on each uh, line line one and line two there are a couple of fuses and that's about it so this would be the brains right here this main pcb which is the brains of the operation is not even labeled quattro two it's labeled multi plus two so i guess they share the same controller board uh, the difference might be in this board here which is labeled uh, quattro 2 and has all of the relays which basically do the switching and maybe this second board there second daughter board that i cannot see the designation on this board and what it says is it quattro or or is it multi-plus so we will continue to explore okay we were also talking about attaching that to the wall not just hanging it and obviously there are four holes to do that one here one here which will be probably enough but they have provided two more one here and one here for which will require to remove the main lid of the unit i'm not sure if that's recommended i haven't read the uh, installation instructions yet but i would presume that once you hang it uh, those two screws will be more than plenty to keep uh, the unit safely attached to the bulkhead there's a big fan here i hope it's uh, power width modulated so it doesn't come on and off as an older inverters and it can basically provide the airflow required looking at this fan i would think that uh, natural convection is not 100 percent necessary because this fan will drive uh, quite a bit of volume through here and probably exit from there i presume that's the direction of the fan i haven't uh, seen an arrow on the fan uh, but let's see uh, well we'll figure it out once we turn it on so for everyone that's interested in how much actually power continuous power it's capable of outputting uh, we see on this uh, product label here that continuous output power is rated at 25 degrees celsius at 
2400 watts or 3000 volt amps at 40 degrees celsius is 2200 watts and at 65 degrees celsius is 1700 watts so that should answer some questions it is a big ground terminal that's supposed to be attached to the ground or the bonding system of the vessel uh, yeah the toroidal transformer is huge and i guess that's the most of the weight of the inverter the difference is it's a single one so it should be a little bit more effective or efficient i should say than the quattro uh, the regular quattro so we see here that uh, we have ac ac out on this side and ac out two and here ac in one and ac in two on this side the regular one relay normal open normal close contact that is programmable with the software this is the bridge for replacing a remote switch if you don't want to use one uh, the v bus couple of connectors and on this side we have temperature sense voltage sense auxiliary one auxiliary two and relay k1 relay so i have to check out to see what exactly it does so this this contact here is for external external ground relay and then we have aux one auxiliary two i don't know what k1 is i can check and put that up in the tight in the on the screen later uh, we have the temperature sense the voltage sense to detect the battery exact voltage without figuring out the drop on the cable and uh, yeah that's that's interesting feature here the external ground relay i have to do some more research but i believe that this one has one of those relays will disconnect the grounding uh, neutral and the grounding wire and will connect them together automatically depending on the state of the inverter charger so maybe that provides an output to use external relay of such, of such sort